Hi, my name's Kirsten and welcome to my channel, Quirky Queens. So I sell secondhand books on eBay and my shop, which is called Quirky Queens. Um, and some of the books just aren't good enough to sell. So I watch a lot of junk journal videos on YouTube and I thought, right, I'm going to use one of these books they're not in acceptable condition to make a junk journal. So this one is about Bali. Um, with, and I used one of the pictures from inside on the front cover. And I'm really pleased with how well it turned out. So I added some extra paper to reinforce um, the cover. And then this is the lovely Bali picture from inside the book. I have used PVA glue and Mod Podge to put it on. I'm just putting some oil pastel round and then that's some gesso to give a more vintage look to it. So the oil pastel and the gesso are mixing together, which is, you know, giving a really lovely vintage look to it. So on the inside cover, I've turned in, um, you know, the edges of the paper that were used on the front cover. And this is a map from an old map book. Again, a bit too damaged to sell. So I'm putting some olive green oil, oil pastel on and some gesso, but it didn't go quite as planned this time. Um, I thought the oil pastel would blend with the gesso the way it had last time on the front cover however I don't know whether it was the paper type um, but it just it stayed in those straight lines so I took some of the gesso back off by pressing um, some other paper on top this is paper that I'd want to be gessoing anyway so two birds with one stone <laughs> um, so just using some distress oxide ink to give a vintage look to it, um, which I'm really happy with. Just a bit more gesso there, trying to make it a bit more translucent in the middle. Um, so I'm happy with that. I will do the back cover, the inside cover and the spine at another point. So this is me just choosing some papers for inside of the junk journal. So there's brown paper the map. Oh, you'll see it's an old map, Yugoslavia, that's no longer existing. This is the cover of printer paper. It's actually got a nice paper, really papery feel to it. Um, and the brown paper's from packaging paper. That's a little bit of wrapping paper. Um, that's an old picture I've done. It's, I was just testing out some paints, some square maths paper that is tissue paper I'm not sure that I would how much I'll be able to use that but it'll look nice inside this is a really strong um, paper bag and that is off a toilet tray set another map another squares get the idea so that's it tidying up I was I, w I wanted to put more in, but I haven't watched a lot of junk journal videos. I am aware that um, once things get stuck on top of them and pockets are added and tags, that it will become very full very quickly. <laughs> so um, I don't know how to use a sewing machine and I didn't have an embroidery needle. So I've actually got some elastic you know, that you would use in a waistband or similar. And I'm using that to hold the papers in place. Um, what I did was I've kept it quite slack to measure it because I want it to be able to go round the book twice. And also, um, with time, I'm aware it'll get slacker. So I was trying to get the middle ground 
slack enough to go round twice, but tight enough to allow for a little bit of loosening over time. So I just tied a single knot in it and put it right round the book and the pages and then here just doubling it over, looping it round there we go, hold it nice and shut, it actually feels really quite secure I think that if the pages were sewn in overall it would feel a lot more secure um, when it's open but when it's closed it definitely is um, secure so this is just some of my old artwork that I'm putting in here that um, I'm hoping will be quite inspiring for creating um, new pages a um, little bit of gold just to add a bit of glamour to the journal <laughs> So the next artwork I add in is a little coat, um, Art is Beauty, which um, kind of sums up the junk journal for me um, because all those reviews and stuff that would otherwise be thrown out, um, it does create a very beautiful thing. This is just a wee run through, I've added a couple more pictures just a picture with um, gesso oil pastels and some texture just a wee run through again there we go so I'm looking forward to doing some um, making my first proper journal page and um, fixing the spine and um, doing the back covers. So hopefully in the future I will learn some sewing. <laughs> However, at the moment I'm quite happy to just use the elastic to hold the sheets in place. Um, it's also for me, I find it easier to do the artwork when it's just a single piece of paper that's laid flat however it does feel nice to have somewhere nice to put it instead of just um you know putting it in a pile basically i hope you have enjoyed watching as much as i've enjoyed creating and hopefully i'll have another video out soon um oh love that journal <laughs>